Guess what, folks? I'm back at it again. Look, you didn't already seen that thumbnail. Your brain already started working and your mouth started salivating, right? Today, we making stuffed bell peppers. Okay, so look, now you guys get to see the ingredients, right? Obviously, I got different color bell peppers. You guys can do all green, all yellow, orange, blah, 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 right? I just wanted to make it, fun, you know, fancy. I like the way it takes pictures. And, you know, that's why I did it this way. And don't forget the taste be a little different on each one of them anyway, right? Now, we got an onion. We're going to be doing the ground beef. And what we want to do is we want to multitask, right? So I'm going to go ahead and fire this up right here. I'm going to start with like a, a medium flame, get a little heat in that. But I want you guys to come on over here. For my seasoning, I want you to pay attention. Look at this right here. You see this right here? I'm going to be using my bee seasoning. This right here is like for them little heavier meats. I could have used this one right here, but I love the profile that's on this right here because this take care of all that beef and all that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start, right? Medium heat, got a pan, little bit of this olive oil, just a little bit because it's going to make its own anyway, right? Now I'm going to take my ground beef, which I got 80, 20, you guys. You know what I mean? And check this out. Ooh, that smells good. That infused olive oil, the best. Man, that's about just a little bit over a pound. So what I'm doing now is just getting a little bit more, you know, surface, meat surface on here so that we can go ahead and get them going. While that's starting, right, I'm gonna set this over here. I'm gonna go ahead and bring my veggies and just start lining them up, right? Cause look, we gotta prep these and get these going. Now, obviously we gotta stuff these, right? So I want you guys to pay attention. First cut I'm gonna make is just straight down off the top like this, just to get everything exposed. Cause we are gonna clean that up. And all of them are not going to sit like this. I got a little tip for you. You know what I mean? I usually take these and just cut these straight, you know, like that. And then you know where to sit up, right? Okay, so now what we want to do is, before I get to the rest of them, because I got my ground beef going, right? I just want to go ahead, peel some of this back. And then we, what we want to do is we want to, you know, just dice it. Okay, so look, now that we're doing everything like we're doing it, now would be a great time for me to tell you guys you want to preheat your oven to 400 degrees, right? So I got it going, it started. Now we'll come back to this over here. Look at the size that I use my meat masher, right? And look at how it is. This is what you want to have. And then you want it to be cooked, right? So with that there, now I'm going to go ahead and add my onion. I know some of you guys are going to say that might be a lot of onion. If you feel like that, then you don't have to put as much as I did. I had a medium sized onion and I've used a whole half, you know? I don't care about really like the size, but you guys can work on your dicing skills, right? I want you to pay attention. Now remember I talked about that bee seasoning? This is where you want to add it right here, right? Oh. Now we come with that paste. I like to put my paste in first because I like for that heat, right? I like for the heat to go ahead and help it, you know, like melt. I just opened up my can, right? I want you to notice it got a little, you know, a little bit of a liquid on the top, right? I do not, you know, drain, mash, and then drain or nothing like that. You want it to be a little bit on the moist side, right? Now, if you guys pay attention to this part right here, remember this was just like the, the bottoms that I cut off, right? And I only saved just a little bit of it. I'll go ahead and add it. I like it and I add it this long, you know, at this stage, right? Because I don't want to cook them down for them to be super soft. I do want them to release some of their flavor inside of there too, but I want them to have some integrity. You see, we didn't come back up to a simmer, right? I'm loving it. I'm not going to cook that down already, you know, way down, like I said earlier. I don't want it to get like super soft. But don't forget, we got to put the rice in, which I'm going to do right now after the rice. Then it goes inside the bell peppers. Then we go in the oven for about 30 minutes, right? So now I'm going to go ahead and just introduce my rice. So I'm sure some of y'all, when y'all looked at that, you was like, man, he ain't got that much rice. But now look at it, does it make sense to you? Okay, folks, so now we get down to the good part, right? We at 400 degrees, it's waiting on me. I tasted this just a second ago, and then I decided to add just a hint of uh, more seasoning to it. And I can tell you right now, it is perfect, right? So what you wanna do is, I'm using hex clad, right? You can use metal utensils inside of this because there's no flaky coating that's on the inside, right? And another thing that I did that I should have shown you guys, I took my dish right here. This is my casserole dish and I sprayed the bottom with, uh, with Pam. Now, you just want to go ahead and get yourself some, you know, some of this inside. Now, you cut them down like how you, you know, how they want them, how you want them to be. Now, I want to let you guys know this. For those of you guys that want to have this a little bit more on the spicy side, you know what you could have did? You could have added jalapenos, just dice them down nice and slow. I mean, nice and small, right? 
But you guys get the picture. This right now should just be doing it. The reason I don't put nothing in there because that's tall. That, that's going to take a lot of filling, right? So what I want to do is make sure I get some of these shorter ones done. And if I feel like I don't have enough, what I can do is just cut a little bit off the top. Okay, so now that you see everything is stuffed, right? We're going to do it like this. I want you to pay attention. Over here, we got aluminum foil. This is the shiny side. This is the dull side. The dull side goes towards the, you know, the, uh, your food, right? So listen, we're going to do it 30 minutes covered. Then we're going to take, remove the foil. And then that's when we apply the cheese, folks. If you want to know like, hey, he didn't put no cheese on it. That's why it's a method to the madness. Real simple. Then when you put this out, and then for my guy friends, this, this might be a little new. You know what I mean? Uh, listen, this impresses his, you know, I guess his lady friends or whoever he trying to impress. And that does it. Remember, 30 minutes covered. Let's get it. All right, remember, this is after 30 minutes. Be careful, folks, because there's a lot of steam. You see that? Don't forget them veggies be full of that water. You know what I mean? But look at that right there. Now, what I want to do is I just like to take my finger, do it like this, just to check the tenderness of the bell pepper. I know that I'm getting ready to put these back inside for another 10 to 15 minutes, but this time they're going to have cheese on it and they're going to be uncovered, right? Now, you guys use whatever kind of cheese you like. Sometimes I put provolone over the top and let it just melt down. Matter of fact, now that I say that, I'm about to look. But this is what you want to do. And the reason I'm putting it on like this, because I want to see if I have some provolone, I'm going to do it, folks. All right, so obviously you see me still putting this on the top. I mean, I didn't find any, but I'm going to go ahead and just put the rest of this like a Mexican blend type cheese on the top, right? Now, with that being said, remember, we're going back in uncovered. And I want to hurry up. I don't want to let all my heat out, right? So open in the oven. And when you're done and your cheese is the way you like it, Voila, stuffed bell peppers. Okay, so you see how they are. I'm letting them cool just a little bit before I go ahead, you know, start handling them. I know you guys want to see that ooey gooey, you know, cheese pool, but I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. Let me go ahead and get myself a fork. Grab this, I got my spatula. I'm gonna go ahead and get underneath the bottom because we cut the bottoms, right? Make sure we don't get no little drippage all over the place. I'm gonna just drop that right there like that. Listen to my tone, folks. I don't know what it is about when we do stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Now, for those of you guys who wanna have like a little bit more of a softer, you know, exterior on the uh, exterior outside, you know what you wanna do? You wanna take yourself some cooking oil. Like I use extra uh, virgin olive oil for everything. I would've just coated these and then put them in there. Hey, but I'm not finna over talk it. Check it out, folks. I'm finna get my knife. Move this out the way, and guess what, folks? We about to eat. You see that right there? Hey, cheers, y'all. Hey, you know what, you guys? I think this would be a good time for me to let you guys know to check this out. I got a new channel. It's called Bottoms Up with AB. That's where I'm posting up drinks, right? I got cocktails and mocktails. And for those of you guys that don't know mocktails, what that means is that means a non-alcoholic version of a drink, right? So with that being said, go by again. That's Bottoms Up with AB. Check me out. I'm even pairing the drinks with dishes. When you look down here and you look at that, right, you can see that I didn't all did the scrape. Man, the filling is everything. Now, one thing I'm going to say about these, listen, the possibility are endless about what you do. I tell you, they're great for going in your refrigerator, just clearing it out, especially if you got any extra meat and proteins. Just put it at the end to warm it up and then throw it in the, you know, oven, and then this is what comes out. So, talk to me. I'm going to give you guys a little hint, and then you got to let me know down in the comment section below what would you add. I'm going to just say baked, uh, black beans, right? Corn, and I'll leave it like that. That's just something to get your minds going, and then talk to me. Now, if you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out there, listen, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And you know what I'm about to do, folks. I'm about to go in there and pour me some great Kool-Aid, and I'm about to get down. I'm out. Peace.